what is going on? Good evening to all of you. My name is Jamel Tony. Hey everyone, my name is Lakeisha, and welcome to Progressively Becoming. What's happening? <laughs> What's going <laughs> on? Thank you for yeah, joining us. Absolutely. As always, as you're getting on, make sure you like, share, and comment, and let somebody know that PB is on now. We are in the building and every Tuesday right here at 7 p.m. Absolutely. Welcome to all of you on Facebook uh, watching us, to our YouTube family. Uh, welcome. Good evening to all of you. To those of you that will be listening to us on our podcast, which is released um, almost immediately after this live goes off. Um, those of you that are listening on our podcast, Apple Music, Google Podcasts, yes. even Spotify, we are trying to expand in other podcast arenas. Um, we're trying. Pray for us. Uh, <laughs> but for all of you that's listening, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have glad that you have tuned in for another conversation. You yes. have this, this, um, wh what's the movie that where it was like a group of, a group of thugs? <laughs> Why are you always trying to come for me? Because when you... When when she came down, I saw this ripped jean jacket, and um, and it reminded me. What is the movie? It was a group of thugs I have no idea. that really? that like terrorized people. What? I'm not saying you're you know that you're terrorizing people, but look. Needless to say, I like her rip the ripped jean jacket. Um, Who would have thought he was gonna like like after that um intro that you like it? No, I liked it. You know, I I I, I attempt to find um some <laughs> some comparison to things uh needless to say um what movie you're talking about but i gotta figure out what it was how be ever i see it it was like they had like chains and like they were uh motorcycles i don't know maybe one of you can help me in the comments um but you're probably like you have no clue what, what yeah, i'm talking no. about either. um well biker boys biker boy no it wasn't biker boys they wasn't thugs. no 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 no, That's my, no. One of my no. Favorite but you're not a thug yeah, we thugs for I'm Jesus. Thugs for Jesus. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, it has been an absolute pleasure um, to just converse with you about various aspects that help mm. us progressively become yes. into the individuals that God has so desperately intended for us to become. Yes. Uh, we will be becoming for the rest of our lives. Absolutely. So prayerfully, this conversation uh, will continue on. Um, as long as till kingdom come. Yes, um, yes, every yes. day of our lives, we are fortunate in grace to experience something about ourselves and to experience something about life that we have not experienced before. And we need to take advantages of those teachable moments mm -hmm. um, because life always teaches us something about who we are. And perhaps this week, life taught you something that you didn't realize about you. Um, and when that happens... Yeah, this is me progressively becoming. Yes, so thank you so much are. for joining us on this journey. On this of journey. Progressively becoming. Another day's journey. And I'm glad. So glad about it. Yeah. Yeah, no, we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes, yes, on another journey. So we are pro we are all progressively becoming. And we all of thank y'all for all of us taking this ride and yeah. taking this journey with all us. Of us are. Um, just some reminders, don't forget about Thursday morning devotion mm -hmm. right here live on Facebook and YouTube at 6 a.m. Those devotions, I must say, are just powerful and amazing. Yeah, the God. presence of God yeah. always shows up yeah. in those prayers, even virtually. Yeah. So, like, God shows up wherever you invite him yeah, into. The, the, he, he is immutable, right? There's no time, mm -hmm. distance, or space um, mm -hmm. that can define him. Mm -hmm. And because of that, um, you know, we pray to a limitless God mm -hmm. that has limitless possibilities uh, that can ultimately change our lives around. Even after we go off air on Thursday mornings, there's a presence Yes. That just invades our space. Yes, that absolutely, you know, we kind of got to get ourselves together somewhat. Um, <laughs> absolutely, you know, and sometimes we just stay there mm -hmm. um, because there's such a presence that invades our space. Absolutely. And so, so absolutely. the prayer 
is that the same power and presence that we feel mm -hmm. is the same power and presence that you feel whether you're at home mm -hmm. um whether you are driving in your cars um wherever mm -hmm. you may be at um mm -hmm. we want you to experience yes the power of jesus christ absolutely. yeah absolutely. absolutely yes it's amazing so yeah. make sure you join us and um if you have any prayer requests any updates any testimonies that you want to share please let us know if you want Definitely. you can email us at progressively becoming at gmail.com you can also put it in the chat tonight or yeah. You can wait until Thursday when we're online and you can put those names in the chat. We want to be, um, yeah. we want to pray with you and for you as yeah. well. So we just thank God that he shows up every Thursday morning yeah. and meet us Definitely. there. Um, also 15 at six, 15 at six. So there was a, some technical delays in getting our 15 at six pushed out. So just be on the lookout for that this week. Um, this week's topic is sensitivity. Sensitivity. Should All of us good. need some sensitivity training. Yeah, we do. <laughs> all of us. Gosh, It'll be a little do. rough around the edges. Yeah, sometimes. all of us need some sensitivity training. So <laughs> uh, be on the lookout for that. So there will be two that will be released this week. Um, sensitivity and the normal one that we release every Friday mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. Yes, and yeah. that one's going to be on forgiveness. That's good. Yes. Yeah, so forgiveness, yeah. Make sure you download and, you know, That's get the word out. Share that um, information about the podcast yeah, because those it, are yeah. only available on our podcast outlets. So definitely yeah. make sure you're telling someone so they can tell someone because yeah. those are encouraging and motivating yeah. for us so we know that it's gonna add value to your life yeah again wow. 15 at 6 we take 15 minutes every week to release content that will be motivational inspirational encouraging and instructional um to help you become the individuals that god has so desperately called for you to be so yeah 15 at 6 catch it yeah. it's been amazing like like seriously it, yeah. oh gosh like the feedback that that we have received mm -hmm. from it um you know, mm -hmm. I just, we pray it just adds value to your life. It helps us. Yeah. Um. It's it's amazing how you can endeavor to help other people, and then as you're doing that, you give, you know, you help yourself. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. You know, that that's that's just an incredible experience where you help you are attempting to help somebody else, mm -hmm. and in turn, you yourself are impacted and strengthen and encourage mm -hmm. um and, and uh, honestly guys every every time we are graced mm -hmm. to speak to you and to release anything um to you it it helps us mm -hmm. it, it really does like right. this is therapy for us right you know the, yeah that word therapy that no one wants to talk <laughs> about um it's therapy for us so um yeah we just hope that it is impactful to you as well so there is a special announcement Wait, before we get there i just i just want to just say one thing I, we I, we want to thank you all yeah like all of you that continue to watch that yeah. follow us those of you on facebook Absolutely. those of you on youtube yeah. all the podcasts we really thank you and mm -hmm. we really appreciate your support yeah with us and yeah. i just felt that in my spirit to just come and like just let you know that now we yeah, really appreciate all of yeah. you for your support we appreciate you for your prayers yeah. we appreciate those that encourage us you know send us messages to let us know that these things are helping and it's encouraging them so thank you so i just want to thank you yeah yeah will you just put that in the comment pb just pb thank pb you. PB, PB, PB from our heart to yours. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank um, you. Progressively becoming would not be progressively becoming if it wasn't for you. Absolutely. And that's and that's the truth. Absolutely. We're building something that God told us to build. You yeah. are necessary. You are necessary. <laughs> yeah. And that's what we were talking about, you yes. know, becoming. Yeah. Uh, yes. We're on this becoming series, becoming better, becoming evolved, becoming clearer, becoming an overcomer, becoming mature, becoming innovative. And now we are, hopefully, today is the conclusion. <laughs> Of becoming necessary because we have been stuck on procrastination. Absolutely. Um, so we're going to dive into that in a few moments. But there is a special announcement. Uh, drum roll, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so special announcement. Um, I'm going to let you start. So. Yeah. So with PB, you know that we are intentional on creating an inclusive environment for everyone absolutely so progressively becoming was created to help people discover and learn the intention behind their existence yeah. 
It was also discovered to assist people in becoming comfortable in themselves, regardless of sex, your social economic background, your race, your cultural conformity, disability, age, skin color, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Every conversation that we have had, yeah. whether we quote scripture or not, is and was and will be rooted in the teaching and the life of Jesus Christ. Absolutely. We believe that the discovery of your authentic, true self can be found through Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. And that is our foundation. That is who we are. Yes. That's where we come from. That's it. Yeah. So you may be asking, well, why are we talking about this now? You know, what's up? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> So a few just just to give you some background, um, um, Lakeisha and I are um again two individuals that love God. And we have served um in our local church. Um for over uh you know over 27 over 28 years um me a little longer because yeah, i know i'm a little older but yeah. it's okay <laughs> uh, we have served in our local church mm -hmm. um faithfully and we was we have been dedicated to it um and we have had amazing you know leaders uh, and an amazing father um spiritual father in our lives um, that has just molded us and helped grow us and encourage us. Mm -hmm. um, for a, a, a few years now, um, I just sensed that God was calling me to progressively become, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And I knew that where we was at was not where we was going to stay. Mm -hmm. um, and God had placed on our heart a burden um, for people and a burden um, to launch. So with that being said, um, this is the moment, this is the time that God has is launching us into our next assignment. And with that said, um, we are so excited, mm -hmm. Very excited. so excited um, to announce to you the formation of what we believe God has called us to do in our next assignment, mm -hmm. and that is to launch a ministry. Yes, um, and we thank are God. overjoyed to announce to you uh, the Place of Exchange Worship Center. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, 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 yes. The Place of Exchange Worship Center. Mm -hmm. um, TPOE, the Place of Exchange, was founded um, on 2 Corinthians 5 and 21. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this scripture says this. It says, for God made Christ who knew no sin become an offering for our sin so that through him we may be right with God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the place of exchange is and will be centered on the truth that Christ exchanged his love for our sin. Mm -hmm. And because of the love of Jesus Christ and because of the ultimate sacrifice that he made on the cross, mm -hmm. there can be an exchange mm -hmm. that takes place. Right. And we want to Make be up. adamant mm -hmm. about telling the world that upon your acceptance and your belief in him, whatever you were challenged with, you can exchange that mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Your fears for his peace, mm -hmm. your confusions mm -hmm. for his comfort and clarity, yeah. your hatred for his love, mm -hmm. your depression for his joy, mm -hmm. you can exchange anything through Jesus Christ. So the place of exchange worship the center, I need you to be, <laughs> yeah, the place of exchange. Wow. It's, it's, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening until yeah. we have, we have prayed and you know, God in 2019, um, I feel like crying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In 2019, um, you know, God woke me up in the middle of the night with the place of exchange. Mm -hmm. And I knew what it was. I, I knew that it would be the name of the ministry that God would launch through us. Mm -hmm. um, and I never forget, we was driving on our way into the city. Mm -hmm. 
and we was um i think we was going to my sister's home and we had crossed the bridge and as we crossed the bridge there was a billboard i don't know if you remember this there was a billboard as we crossed the bridge that said the place of exchange and i was like what <laughs> like, like oh, really? Like, you know, it 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 was it was confirmation mm -hmm. to what we know um that God <laughs> that what God um decided to do um in our lives. So I want you to be prayerful. I want you to be on the lookout um because the place of exchange worship center um is being formed and is being founded in the love of jesus christ oh yes uh, we yes. want to create an inclusive environment where everyone can feel comfortable mm -hmm. everyone can feel safe and everyone can know that upon the acceptance of what christ has done on the cross you can experience an exchange in your life yes. there is nothing that you have done that god is not aware of and has not already made preparations for yes. Right? We want you to know the teachings of Jesus Christ through the life of Jesus Christ um, so you can be assured that my eternity is secured in him. My life is secured in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's what we're doing. That's where we are. It's all about Jesus. Like, like that's it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, truth and righteousness and holiness. And it, it's all about um, Jesus Christ. So... Mm -hmm. We pray and we ask God, well, how do we launch? How do we right. start? Right. Um, because here's what we would not do. Is we would not grab a building, put some chairs in it, and tell people to come. Mm -hmm. That's what we 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 was not going to do. Mm -hmm. We we wasn't, well rather we did not feel led to start out that way. Mm -hmm. Instead, we felt led to launch the place of exchange worship center by doing what Jesus Christ done so much. Mm -hmm. When you was, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was in prison, you came to visit me. So the place of exchange worship center will be launching with outreach. Yes. And, yes, and, yes. And, like that's, that's what God told us to do. Right. It's right. to launch with outreach. And we are believing and we are remaining faithful and confident in his ability to lead us right. um, towards our next. But what we are going to do is we are going to launch with outreach. Because we did not want to go into a community mm -hmm. and the community does not know who we are. Mm -hmm. There has been no, no record of outreach in that community, mm -hmm. we want to show the people the love of God right. and then introduce them to the God of love. Right. So that's what we're doing. So what does this look like? And we need your help um, to right. get this done. Go ahead and tell the people. So next Saturday is going to be our first of many. Absolutely. We prayerfully of outreach. Yeah. So we are going out into the community um, of Camden, New Jersey, absolutely. Um, to show the love of Jesus. So yeah. we what we are gonna give out a um, hundred book bags with supplies. Kids are going back to school, you know. So we want to be a blessing to that community, and then we're also gonna be giving out clothing. So you know, gently used clothes we have. We have some new clothes that we're going to be taking out there. So you know, we're taking any clothes that's in good condition. So we would like to ask all of you if you would partner and sponsor a book bag or two or three whatever you know your heart is being led to to do so each book bag will come with supplies such as like notebooks pencils pens um folders uh crayons and things like that you know things that the kids need for school and each backpack with supplies costs eight dollars so we would just um invite you to sponsor a book bag of eight dollars if you want to do more that'd be great um but we'll appreciate whatever you can you know give and contribute to this event because we believe that god is gonna 
do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can actually ask or think and yeah. we're going with the hundred in mind but i'm praying that god super exceed that and yeah. that we'll be able to give out more yeah one of one of the things that god showed me in for our initial outreach um was that he showed us giving out school supplies mm -hmm. and so that's what that's what we're doing mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and as my wife said um for a, a, a we we are you know we 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 intentionally don't solicit or ask unless God leads us to do so. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we are we are asking because we feel led to help you help the city of Camden, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, gain book bags and school supplies for the youth of that city. Mm -hmm. Um, so as she said, for eight dollars. You can sponsor one book bag and that book bag as you know would be filled with school supplies um you know we 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 believe god for 100 and god is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can even act or think um so i know that we're going to blow that out the park mm -hmm. um it's what god showed us and he's faithful to fulfill every purpose and everything that he has showed us to do right. um so with this being said how do you give Right. Yeah. How do you give? So um, you can give via Cash App. Yeah. The Cash App is dollar sign T P O E W C. So That's the it. place of exchange worship center. So T Tom P like Peter O like Oscar E like Edward W like William and C like Cat. So <laughs> hashtag dollar sign T P O E W C. Um, you can give on um Cash App. Correct. Um, yeah. Um, you could also go to our website, which will be live after this live. <laughs> um, you can go to our website, which will be which will be live after this conversation. That's the place of exchange dot com. The place of exchange dot com. On the website, you'll see a tab that says offering. Mm -hmm. Click on offering, and there are multiple ways in which you can give. You can give online. You can give through Givelify. Um, if you give one online, just put in the comments what it is for. And let me, let us say this. 100% yes. of what you give yes. will go towards book bags and school supplies. Correct. Correct. 100%. Absolutely. Once we purchase everything, if we have $3.07 left, I promise you this. I will find three dollars and seven cents worth of school supplies yes. to put in the bag. Right. Absolutely. Um, and because I want us to operate with integrity. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Integrity and honesty. And I think for so long, you know, many people have not operated with integrity. Mm -hmm. Um, but everything that you give towards the place of exchange worship center. Um, will go towards book bags and school supplies for the youth in the city of Camden, New Jersey. Absolutely. Um, I want you to pray for us that day, August mm -hmm. 13th. Um, you may be in Camden. You may be in the New Jersey, South Jersey yeah. area. If you want to come out and just help support, if you want to come out and volunteer for that day, um, we'll start at 9 a.m. You know, more information will follow. But if you want to start out and if you want to help, you know, support us and, and to volunteer, email us. Yes. At progressivelybecoming at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Progressivelybecoming at gmail.com. Or you can go to the website, theplaceofexchange.com. And you can send us a message there. Send us a message on Facebook. DM us. Yes. Instagram. Yes. IM us. <laughs> do we do IMs there? I am. Do y'all remember AIM, AOL? Nobody do not AIM. Nobody do AIM anymore? Instant message? Instant messenger. That's Skype. Okay, Skype. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I want to give you an opportunity to be a blessing um, towards the city of Camden, New Jersey. Yes. And be on the lookout because we're going to post pictures. Yes. We're going to go live that day. We're going to show videos of everything that you made happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So get excited, tell your friends, reach out to us. Um, we'll post the dish flyer on our social media pages. Mm -hmm. um, and I pray that you would share the flyer as well. Yes. We want 100 book bags. 100, y'all. 100. 100. Come um, on, we can do it. We, we can, can do, do it. it, yeah. For yes. the city of Camden, um, $8 purchases one book bag. 
Yes, um, yes, yes. So let's make this happen. I believe, God, that this is going to be absolutely amazing. Thank you for praying with us. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers as we do what God has called us to do. Absolutely. We want to show the love of of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus, that's yeah. it. That's and you want it. to be intentional about that. The Place of Exchange Worship Center. <laughs> it is yeah. live and it's happening now. Oh, thank Glory, God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Yeah, thank would God. you put that in the comment? T-P-O-E. T-P-O-E. <laughs> T-P-O-E. <laughs> T-P-O-E. The Place of Exchange. Um, yes, there's yes, so yes. much more that we're going to be releasing mm -hmm. as it relates to the launch of this new ministry. So yes. be on the lookout um, for all of that. And I say, let's just do it. Let's make it happen. Yes, thank yeah. God. Thank God. Let's thank make God. it happen. All right. All right, y'all. Recap. So, we only got a few minutes left. <laughs> so, in, so in our progressively, um, yeah. in our becoming series. Absolutely. Uh, becoming better, evolve, clearer, um, an overcomer, mature, more mature, uh -huh. innovative. Um, and we've been discussing this past few weeks becoming necessary. Yeah. We've been about three weeks in now. Yeah. And just to go over necessary means required to be done, mm -hmm. achieved, or present needed and essential Absolutely. and as we stated before that you you are necessary, are necessary. so you are yeah. necessary and yeah. we have been diving deep into progress procrastination uh -huh. and the effect that it has yeah so last week we discussed the psyche behind understanding procrastination Absolutely. and that it's a mind thing it's a mind and before thing before yeah. it's ever an action yeah. it's our mind yeah the way we think our thoughts provoke our emotions mm -hmm. as well as our behavioral response. Yeah. When we need to get something done, we rely primarily on our self-control mm -hmm. in order to bring ourselves to do it. And how 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 good has has that been <laughs> for all of us? <laughs> and like, I was self-control is self self-control um is one of the fruits of the spirit. And um you know, I think self-control is so much is 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 needed. Um, yes. in our lives. Like our dog right yeah. now in London. She doesn't yeah. have any self-control. No self and let me just tell you, yeah. every week, yeah. like, Jamel will try, <laughs> this is like his baby, y'all. So, I'm like, when we go live, like, put her up somewhere. Like, she's not created, but like, put the little baby gate up that we have so she can't come in here. But no, he wants to go on and let her just have a chance to have her freedom freedom and now everything's shaking y'all heard the little squeaky toy i know y'all heard it in the background the squeaky toy like she chewing on something over welcome here. to and... live but i'll do better um because <laughs> like... we really don't want any um distractions <laughs> um yeah <laughs> it, it's just a lot going on. but our anyway. self-control receives support from our motivation which helps us get things done in mm -hmm. a timely manner mm -hmm. And in some cases, not only do we experience motivation in our lives, but we experience demotivating yeah, factors as absolutely. well, such as anxiety, the fear of failure, which is that which has the opposite effect on our motivation. So if you missed last week's conversation, mm -hmm. the psyche behind procrastination, I want you to go watch it. Yes. Listen to it on the podcast. Um, because the the recap does no justice to it. Right. Um <laughs> Yeah, we have identified three types of procrastinators. Yes. And today we want to conclude it and perhaps we find ourselves in one of them. Mm -hmm. And perhaps we are can take the tools um to rid ourselves of the procrastinator that lives on the in, on the inside, inside of, of us. us. Everybody yes. has a procrastinator yes. that lives on the inside of them. Yes. And uh, the three types that <laughs> we identified was the avoider, yes. the optimist, mm -hmm. and the pleasure seeker. Yes. So we did discuss, mm -hmm. um, I think, first discussion, yeah. the avoider and the optimist. However, we are going to go over them again tonight just to bring it back to your remembrance. Correct. Because Absolutely. it's... You probably don't remember Absolutely. everything that yeah. we discussed on that night. And then also you could just, you know, see what category that you do fit Correct. in. So we're going to start off with the avoider. So the avoider. So the avoider, and we're dealing with procrastination. So the avoider puts things off just because they make you feel bad. Mm -hmm. 
the task at hand produces emotions of anxiety, boredom, overwhelmness, and even sadness. Before an, an, before an avoider even gets started, they are filled with unpleasant emotions that keep them stagnant. Mm -hmm. This stems from the truth that most people, and this is, this is the reality, yes. most people have a natural drive to seek what is good and to avoid what's painful. Of course, that's natural. You natural, yeah. yeah. So are you the avoider? Mm -hmm. How do you know? That you are an avoider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are knocking at your door. Here it is, number one. You always make excuses as to why it can't be done. Mm -hmm. Why it can't be done and why it hasn't been done. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. excuses. Mm -hmm. Let, let's let's dig into this for a moment. I know we I know we got to move on, but 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 excuses serve as distractions. Would you just put that in the comment? Excuses serves as distractions mm -hmm. that prevent us from achieving a task, right? But it stems from a deeper unconscious desire to protect ourselves. Right. And the more anxious and ashamed we feel when we are confronted with an unpleasant task, thus our need to provide an excuse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excuses aim to shift the focus from issues pertaining to ourself to issues that are relatively less central, right? For example, you was taking a test for school and you failed the test, mm -hmm. right? The avoider will say, if asked, well, why did you fail the test? And the avoider would say, um, well, um, um, the test was unfair, right? This shifts the focus away from preparation, right? To the reality that you just did not prepare. Right. Right. So instead of acknowledging, hey, you know something, I just didn't prepare for the test. Mm -hmm. You shift the focus in saying the test was not fair. And one of the ways, one of the reasons you do this is because you are, Attempting to protect yourself right. from the shame that may be accompanied with your inability to prepare for that test. That's good. Mm -hmm. So you shift the focus on the assignment rather than putting the focus on yourself. Yes, yes, so. mm -hmm. And that's why excuses will always make you unreliable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Your excuses reveal more about you than you think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excuses will make you unreliable. And here it is. People will respond to you accordingly. Exactly. Exactly. So if I know that I want you to do something, yeah. but I already know you're going to come up with an excuse as to why you can't Absolute. do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Then I'm more than likely not going to ask you. I'm not going to ask you to do it. Yeah. It's because I know that you're unreliable and I can't depend or count on you. Yeah. Now. Now, don't get it wrong. There are some excuses that are valid. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, like, for me, I'd rather you tell me, you know what, I just don't want to do it. Yeah. Or I'm not doing it. Okay. For you to come up with all these excuses as to why you can't, when the real reason is sometimes I just don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> See, but, 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 but that takes, I think, a level of maturity. Here it is. People naturally want to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. Like people have a natural instinct immediately to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. And when you are confronted mm -hmm. with uh, the potential of being exposed, mm -hmm. That's your natural instinct to protect yourself arises. Mm -hmm. That's true. And will ultimately include an excuse. Mm -hmm. Because your excuse is trying to protect you from being exposed mm -hmm. is protecting you from the shame, mm -hmm. the guilt, the embarrassment, mm -hmm. and the level of anxiety that you will experience because of it. As you said, instead of just being honest. <laughs> but that but 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 that comes with maturity. I don't know, and it's hard, you know. Yeah. Cause I mean I ain't gonna say I ain't been there like yeah. made up an excuse sometimes at some point down the line. Yeah. I mean, we all probably have done. Absolutely. Ex ex 
excuses for many have become automatic. Yeah. I think that's when it's the, the issue, though. That's the issue. Correct. Yeah. yeah. When it's just, yeah. you just pop off with one. <laughs> yeah. So you know you're an avoider if you always make an excuse as to why it can't be done. Right. You also know you're an avoider if you use the excuses, the excuse of priorities to make you feel better and not doing it. Mm -hmm. Right? So you have, all of us have priorities in life. Mm -hmm. And you use the excuse of, I have priorities um, as an excuse to prevent you from doing what you were supposed to do. How many of us has used our priorities as an excuse to 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 keep us from doing something that we were supposed to do? Mm -hmm. I've done it. I, I've done it. <laughs> oh well, you know something. I really can't do it. You know because my family. You know X Y Z. Mm -hmm. Because nobody's going to argue that your family is a priority. Right. <laughs> right. 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 But the question is, are you using your family as a cover up to keep you from doing what you really just don't want to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Another way, another way you know you are an avoider if you schedule tasks way out in the future to not deal with the daunting word now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now instead of doing it now, oh yeah, you know, I'll do it in about three weeks or so. You know, I, I have some time in my schedule to do it in about three weeks. Mm -hmm. No, you ain't got no intention to do it in three weeks. <laughs> you have no intention to do it in three okay, weeks. Okay. So you schedule it out weeks later, months later, years later, as the as opposed to just doing it now mm -hmm. not to say you have to complete it now but at least get started get started yeah so how, how do you fix this behavior? that's the hard part getting started getting started mm -hmm. get, get started that's hard that is yeah it's like because you know you think you got to get started and i gotta finish it like immediately mm -hmm. but you yeah. know you could it could be a process and just you know i mean don't just start it and don't never like pick it up and finish it <laughs> i mean if you don't want that to happen you're gonna start it you know and at least Complete it. At least complete it. But yeah. you know, at, at least start. Yeah. So, so how do you deal with the with this behavior? If you are an avoider, if you identify yourself as being the avoider, will you just raise your hand where you are? <laughs> Nobody can see you, so it's good. You can raise your hand in the chat if you want. Yeah. B bold. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you are an avoider, if you feel so inclined to do so, um, yeah, you make yourself like, known. I mean, you don't have to, but you if you feel to. like it. Um, you know, or just say, you know, perhaps I'm the avoider. So how do you fix this behavior, right? Here it is. You deal with the deeper unconscious desire to protect yourself from shame. Mm -hmm. Next time you don't do a task for whatever reasons, when asked about it, do not give an excuse. Right. Instead, I want you to respond intentionally and truthfully. Mm -hmm. And that could be, I just didn't do it because I didn't want to. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I did not do it because I found it too difficult to do. Right. Um, yeah. I didn't do it because, honestly, I did not prioritize my time effectively. And I think a lot of times it's hard to admit if you found it difficult to do. Yeah. Or I didn't understand what to do. Oh, I don't know how to do it. Because there's this, 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 this stigma on, on not being knowledgeable mm -hmm. and, and, and quote unquote, not having the education um, to achieve something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't be ashamed as to what you don't know. Right. You don't know. You don't know. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. are you willing to put yourself in a position where you can gain knowledge and experience from, you know, to help what you don't know. Right. Are you willing to be exposed right. to help what you don't know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you are the avoider, identify the, um, if you are the avoider, intentionally respond with truth. I want you to identify skills and qualifications that help you complete the task. You may not know this, but here's what I do know. Here's what I can, here's all, here's what some of my strengths are that can help me complete the task, right? right? And I also, do, I want you to list the pros that the completion of this task can lead to. Mm -hmm. If I complete this task, if I complete this, mm -hmm. this can make me potentially a better mother, a better father, a better husband, a better wife. 
I could potentially have a more stable relationship. Mm -hmm. I could buy my dream home, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to list everything positively that can come as a result of my completion of this task. And right. here it is. When you list those things, those serves as motivators yeah. to help you accomplish it. Exactly. So when you don't feel like doing it, there's your confidence. Yeah, there's a potential I can be, I can have a more stable relationship if I do do this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. If I do this, there's the potential that I can have a dream home. I can have my dream home. I'm gonna do this. Yep. If I do this, there's the potential that I can be making ex uh uh um substantially more money than what I'm making now. Mm -hmm. I need to do this. Do it. <laughs> right? Those behaviors help avoid becoming the avoider. Number two. Um, the oh, and real quick, just yeah. Also, find someone that will hold you accountable. Absolutely. So that's you know yeah. good, and that's just in and of itself. Just find someone that's gonna hold you accountable for what you're doing. Absolutely. Plain and yeah. simple. Yeah. Um, next one, the optimist. An optimist consistently thinks a task is not going to take as long as it does, mm -hmm. or that they have more time to finish the job. This may be a little tricky and sketchy. <laughs> How can an optimist play a negative role in becoming necessary? Correct. We think of optimism, we think of something positive. Mm -hmm. However, since the root of optimism is hopefulness and Absolutely. or confidence, you can, as we mentioned before, you can be confident you're going to achieve something mm -hmm. or achieve a goal or a task. Mm -hmm. And then you can also be confident that you won't. Absolutely. That you won't achieve that Correct. goal or you won't achieve that task. Absolutely. And let us remind you, as we said before, you can be hopefully and confident in knowing that you won't become. Absolutely. So keep yeah. that you in mind. Be, you could be optimistic by, about not becoming. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And that sounds weird, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. But it's true. But you can be optimistic that you're not going to become. So how do you know you are an optimist? Right? Um... You initially impress others with attitudes only to have them eventually stop following you because of your lack of follow through. Right. And I think we spoke about this a few weeks ago. We did. Mm -hmm. Follow through with what you're going to follow through with. Right. You know, consistency builds trust. Yes, it it does. really does. It does. Consistency mm -hmm. builds trust. Right. Um, how do you know you're an optimist? You never have a plan B because <laughs> you have no intention of starting plan A. That is so if plan A doesn't work out, you That's look it. to plan A as, okay, well, I failed. And so many times we use failure as confirmation as to why we should not have started in the first place. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard the phrase, and some of us have used it in your life. Have you ever heard someone use the phrase, well, it'd, well, well if it's meant for me, it'll be. Mm -hmm. Or if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's perhaps some of the biggest garbage I've ever heard in my life. It is. If it's meant to be, it will be. That puts the that puts the responsibility, mm -hmm. the ownership on it and not you. Mm -hmm. That's good. When the last time I define what perseverance means, it means going after what you want with tenacity and strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want it, go after it. Don't just sit there and say, well, if it's if the job is mine, then it'll be mine. No, if you want it, prepare yourself for the interview. Prepare yourself, educate yourself from the company. Right. Do you have the qualifications and the experience? If you don't, go grab those and apply for the job, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But don't have the mindset, well, if it's meant to be, it'll be. No, if you want it, go after it. Go after it. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's it, it's it's garbage, uh, and I hate I hate to be so blunt, but that 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 phrase does not put the responsibility on you. And mm -hmm. as we said a few weeks ago, you are the only person mm -hmm. that is responsible for not becoming. For not becoming you. You you are the only person that is responsible for not becoming. One of my favorite uh, sitcoms growing up was um um a different world. And I don't know if you still. remember, still, I love a different still one. Oh my gosh. Show. Every day. And if you remember <laughs> in um Whitley's apartment, um, there was a poem called The In The Inventicus. And on the bottom of that poem, it said, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Mm -hmm. 
you are the only one that can be responsible if you do not become. The onus is on you and not it. Mm -hmm. So how do you fix this behavior? Mm -hmm. Right? How, 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 how do you how do you fix this not preparing for plan B? How do you how do you fix this um with the not following through? How do you fix this? Mm -hmm. It's an issue of time management. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, you have to yeah. put like contingencies in place. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if yeah. this don't work, then what? Then what? Like Correct. you you have yeah. to because yeah. and that doesn't go against your faith. Let me just say that. If this don't work, then this, it doesn't go against your faith. It's called wisdom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's called wisdom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And you create like daily agendas. Absolutely. Sometimes like you have to put alerts and reminders and things mm -hmm. like that. Set it up in your phone. Yeah. Or if you know, you still write down on stuff, you know, do that. Cause I do mm -hmm. both, you know, sometimes yeah. I put it in my phone, but sometimes I like to have a little pad and write stuff yeah, down. Absolutely. This is what yeah. I need to do. This is what I need to do mm -hmm. it. And then check it off as you go, yeah. you know, and then like award yourself for achieve, uh, achieving these things. Yeah. You yeah. know, I think that'll help build your confidence. That'll mm -hmm. help boost you to keep moving. Correct. And you know, just award yourself for the, for the one thing. And then that'll make you want to go to the next step into the yeah. next step into the next step. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, Next one we're gonna discuss. The pleasure seeker. We gotta just bear with we got a few more minutes. The pleasure seeker. The pleasure seeker. You yeah. don't do what you're supposed to do until you generally like you generally feel like doing it. Say that again. You are the pleasure seeker. You don't do what you're supposed to do until you genuinely feel like doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Simply put, which doesn't happen often. <laughs> So, it's not so much of avoiding the job or the task uh -huh. as it is deliberately <laughs> and intentionally choosing just to do something that you like better. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> I love the pleasure seeker because the pleasure seeker says, I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. I, 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 I know what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to do it. Instead, I want to do something else that gives me more pleasure. I absolutely love the pleasure seeker I'm because the, the pleasure seeker is bold. Mm -hmm. Yet the pleasure seeker is perhaps one of the most dangerous persons mm -hmm. because the pleasure seeker puts pleasure Before. above mm -hmm. responsibility. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Purpose is discovered. Right. And the truth is this. We did not have a say at the table when God created us. Mm -hmm. We didn't say, well, God, you know, I want you in my path, I want to do X, Y, and Z. And the challenge with that is because we didn't choose our purpose. Oh, that's tough. You didn't choose it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because we didn't choose our purpose, the pleasure seeker says, I know what I'm supposed to do, I but I won't do it because I simply don't feel I like it. <laughs> and this is dangerous and perhaps the most difficult one to confront and avoid. And I use the word confront. Mm -hmm. Because the pleasure seeker is bold. Mm -hmm. So your confrontation has to be bold as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have no excuse. And yet you attempt to offer one. Mm. You don't run out of time. You simply just don't do it. Just don't do it. You're a pleasure seeker if you have little patience. Mm -hmm. When jobs aren't it when you enjoy. Right. You give up and quit give often. Up. Give yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you... You go from like job to job yeah. and then you, cause basically you're in search for what pleases you. Ooh. You accept <laughs> a live in a moment mindset yeah. and you don't spend much time in reflecting or Correct. planning for anything. You, you exhibit selfish ways mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you pivot conversations about what you're most enthusiastic about mm -hmm. because everything in you seeks pleasure of yourself. Mm -mm. How do you fix this behavior? Mm -hmm. Number one, you have to find yourself in it. Find it. <laughs> you have to acknowledge that perhaps there's some selfish tendencies that I have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I need to deal with. The issue with the pleasure seeker is their desire to put pleasure before others. It's right. to put their pleasure before others. And that may be okay. 
because we often talk about the need to be selfish sometimes. Right. Like, you know, there are sometimes you just have to be selfish. Right. You there are sometimes you, you got to put you first. Right. 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 The problem comes into play when the desire to pleasure yourself comes at the excuse of your responsibility. Mm-hmm. Pleasure. Doing what makes you feel good when it affects your responsibility. So, how do you deal with this? You got to find you got to find what's enjoyable and what you don't like. <laughs> mm. I know I need to do this. I don't find it enjoyable. I need to find what's enjoyable and what I don't like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to set others before yourself. Mm-hmm. And you got to be honest with yourself that you might never be in the mood. <laughs> and you have yes. to focus on how you will feel after you accomplish that task. I may never be in the mood to do this, but I need to focus on my feeling after I complete the task. If I can complete this task, mm-hmm. I'll feel a sense of satisfaction. Right. I'll feel a sense of completement. I feel mm-hmm. a sense of being completed, mm-hmm. even though I really just don't feel like doing it. This is this is a tough one to deal with because it may go against years of selfishness that you got to unpack. Wow. Mm-hmm. But you got to start by being honest with yourself. That's yeah. That's true. Be honest with yourself. Put that in the chat. Be honest with yourself. Mm-hmm. Be, be honest with yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. And then ask yourself, you know, well, why don't I want to do this? Mm-hmm. Like, is, is there a legitimate reason behind, did we, you know, you just not want to do it? Mm-hmm. Or is it something internally that, you know, that you are battling with that makes you not want to do it? Now, we're not talking about, like, little, minute things. No, but, no, like, no. major things major, that's, a, yeah. like, affecting to your life. Yeah. Like, for instance, Jamel loves Home Depot, right? I love it. And then he'll yeah. come to me, like, you want to go with me to Home Depot? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Honest. Honestly. Why not? I yeah. just don't want to go. Yeah. I don't like going there. You know, so I in just, those yeah. instances, you know, it's nothing. And, and at times, it used to be difficult for me to tell him no. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't want to go. Yeah. But now, yeah. since we're progressively becoming, yeah. I can say, no, I don't want to go. Yeah, but then, for me, is I'll tell her, well, you know something, I really just want you to hang out with me. And then I'll say, okay. And then she'll say, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right. So, again, you have to find, again, so, with that scenario, awesome. But that scenario is when she's looking towards the end of the task. If I go with him, then he'll experience a sense of satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He'll experience a sense of being completed because his better half is with him. Even though I don't want to do it. Right. Right. But I'm going to put... ah, and this goes into our relationship. I'm going to put responsibility above pleasure. Mm. I've got it. I'm going to put responsibility above pleasure. Mm. Because in a marriage, my responsibility is to make sure that he or she feels secured mm-hmm. and satisfied. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> so real quick, you know, we got to go. We, we got to go. We are over time. If you had overtime. to pick um, yeah. one of the procrastinators, yeah. what, what, who would you be? The pleasure seeker. Yeah. Yeah. I the think. Pleasure seeker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You think? Yeah, because there's some things I just don't want to do. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. And but but I won't say I just don't want to do it. So yeah, maybe I'm a course between the pleasure seeker and the optimist. I think. When what you think? I think I'm the avoider. Oh, you are definitely the avoider. <laughs> oh, most. She is definitely the avoider. Um, yeah, yeah. so when I'm reading over like what it is. I'm like, uh, I, I can see myself in that. I, yeah, I make you know, yeah. Who are you? Are you the avoider, the optimist, or the pleasure seeker? Right, go back. I want you to listen to this again because mm-hmm. I want you to see if you can find tools that can help you not become the pleasure seeker, the avoider, and the optimist. This is the one time that we will say we do not want you. To progressively become the avoider, the optimist, and the pleasure seeker. <laughs> yes, absolutely. absolutely. Oh, man, this has been great. Um, join us Thursday at 6 a.m. Yes. for morning devotions. Yeah. 
Thank y'all again so much for joining. As always, make sure you like, comment, and share Correct. this conversation. We will yeah. see you this Thursday, this Thursday. 6 a.m. right Don't here. Don't forget the Place of Exchange book bag drive. Yes. Um, dollar sign T-P-O-E-W-C. Go to the website, theplaceofexchange.com. Um, sponsor a book bag. Yes. Have your friends sponsor a book bag. Yes. Um, we want 100 book bags uh, for the city of Camden, New Jersey. Yes. Um, I'm excited. Let's make this happen. Thank you again for joining us, family. We love you, and y'all have a blessed night. Have a great day, guys.